you're up in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, obviously, Kentucky basketball, to equate it to, to Alabama people, it's a lot like fo- Alabama football. I mean, the people just love it. Uh, they'll be hanging out all around the Hyatt today, uh, getting ready for that Alabama game tonight. But just kind of tell everybody about the trip. Uh, you know, Alabama, obviously, all the SEC teams fly charter. So it's a pretty nice deal to be able to go out, just get on your plane with just your people. But just kind of talk about the trip in general and what you guys have done there so far. Well, it is, uh, you know, it's, it's like all the, the uh, teams in the SEC. You have your own charter service, and they did have a Tuscaloosa Airport and a uh, basketball team and their staff. And um, he uh, invited on this trip some of the uh, boosters, some guys who had, who were friends of mine, actually, as well, who had have supported Alabama basketball for a long, long time and uh, who, who are, you know, are, are interested in Alabama basketball regardless of how they're playing or what they're doing. So he invited several people there and invited myself as well, and I appreciate it very much. And so um, you know, I think the kids are well-behaved. They came in and, and uh, shot some last night. They didn't have, a, didn't have an organized practice because they practiced um, at Coleman before they before they left, so they came in, shot a little bit. We'll go over. The, they'll go over this morning. And I'll go over and watch them. They'll work out a little bit this morning, shoot some. But uh, went out to to, to dinner across from uh, from the arena last night and had a good visit with uh, with Avery. And uh, I didn't see any assistance. They were out working, I guess, looking at uh, some more film or something. But I saw Avery and visited with him. And, and uh, visited with a lot of guys that I hadn't seen in a long time because I hadn't been back much. And, you know, the time gets by, and it's been 24 years since I was there, so it wasn't like it was yesterday. But uh, we had a nice time. Uh, look, I know they're looking forward to the game today. Uh, it, it'll be, it's always tough up here. And as you say, the, the crowd is, you know, they're, they're in, into it from the minute, um, well, all day, really. And uh, they'll be ready to, to ready to go and and uh, support the Wildcats. Uh, Kentucky is a terrific uh, basketball venue. It's a basketball program that's been good all the time. Uh, they can lose four or five games, and everybody's mad, thinking think they're having a bad year. Uh, the funny thing about it, I talked to uh, um, one of our former players that's up here living up here now, and he was talking about uh, that they've had a great recruiting year. Uh, haven't really don't keep up with recruiting quite as close as I used to, but the, got a lot of really good players. Maybe some a lot better than the ones they have this year, although they've got some good ones. Um, so it's going to be continue as Cal has been able, in my opinion, if you want the reason for it, to be able to get guys who can go on and play with those mothers and daddies thinking about money, uh, and they get in here and get out. Somebody else comes along. He's sort of got that thing going like that. Alabama football is a little bit like that, not like this, but uh, because you're not dealing with the same situation, you know, you can't go out at the end of one year and, and you're dealing with a lot less people. But uh, the factor of, of these kids being able to go out and, and play and, and make a living for themselves right after a year is, is a pretty big deal, and that continues to bring not to. Not that he's not a great recruiter, because he is, and not that they don't have great, you know, great facilities and great tradition. They do, but uh, that's certainly a big factor in it. Well, it's like you know, saying Kentucky's had a great recruiting year. That's like saying Alabama's had a great recruiting year in football. That happens yeah. every year, uh, yeah. and, and so, good. but but I think they have. They're, they count on their freshmen every year. Now this year they had a few more with Tyler Ulis, who will probably end up being Player of the Year. Uh, in the SEC, Poitras, they've got some guys back Lee that have played a lot of times their whole starting five will be gone. But this year they have some returning guys. But it's just like he's got to coach a whole new group uh, each year. And I think he's done a really good job, uh, you know, bringing this team along. No, they probably don't have as many elite NBA uh, projected picks as they've had in the past, but still their talent level. Uh, and, and, you add their talent level to John Calipari's coaching and being able to handle uh, big time players because that's not easy because those guys well, got a lot of there, people around you're them. Exactly right. You, you, you got to give that. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you got to give you got to give these guys credit for doing a good job. You're right with with good players. You know, I get so tired listening to people say, "Well, no wonder they won all the games had all those good players." Good players are the hardest ones to coach. 
good players are the ones that, that sometimes uh, are moody, sometimes are very inconsistent because they shoot bad shots because they think they need to shoot all of them. There's a there's a line there that you have to you know you've got you got to be tough on them, but at the same time you got to care about them, and, he's, and that's that's the important thing. And I think he's done that. And I think he coached them well. I think the one thing that has impressed me, and it'll be interesting tonight, is that Kentucky has come in, come out, and played really hard, really harder, best word, after a loss. They go to Arkansas after a loss, and they play their fannies off. That was one other game that they went after a loss and played their fannies off, and I would imagine that they will play their fannies off. And I know, I know Alabama will, but um, this is a basketball team that uh, has good talent, but they play hard and they're well coached, and so is Alabama. You got to give Avery a lot of credit. He's done an excellent job with the team. I think their morale is good. I think they feel good about each other, which is important. I think they like the coaching staff, uh, which is important. So uh, you can't make everybody like you every second, but I do think they have an understanding of what the staff is trying to do. I'm not around them. Just today was the first time. Uh, last night was the first time for any length of time, and I really didn't even visit with, with the players at all. I did see JJ's kid. Was the only one I visited with, so um, you know I think I think both teams will be ready to play. Yeah, well, I, you know I kind of equate what John Calipari really and Nick Saban kind of in the same as far as coach goes. They can handle the great players uh, and they can be hard on them, and they also have a have a great knack for being able to. You know, they're never satisfied. A lot of times you have those guys. I think Kentucky was going off the court the other day. They had a huge lead. They had played great. They interviewed John Calipari going off the floor, and he told you about all the bad things. They didn't get back on defense one or two times. Um, it's kind of like Nick Saban. They win a big game, and he'll tell you about two or three blocks that they missed. Uh, he don't tell you all the good things. That's kind of how those guys coach. Uh, but it's unique that they can handle the great players. Uh, they don't coddle them. Uh, like some people do because they're just so happy to get them or they did something illegal to get them, uh, so they have to coach them differently. Uh, yeah, I did say that. Uh, and that that happens uh, time to time. But those guys are a lot alike in the way they handle their players. And uh, so it's just interesting to me to watch those guys uh, coach. 